Greg, and my guest today is Chucky Boy. He's actually so much more than Chucky Boy. Let me tell you, <laughs> this man is, he's won so many honors and awards in the academic field, corporate field, military awards. It's, he's done so much, I am just, I'm just sitting in my chair because my jaw has dropped. And today he's here to talk about Experience works. Welcome, welcome, hey, Chuck. Great to be here. You're welcome, Chuck, and you're also a famous author working on your next book. But I don't what know is about famous? But I, I'm uh, I'm in there fighting. <laughs> you are in there fighting. And what is Experience Works? Okay, this this is interesting because now you hit a great nerve with me because I've been on an Experience Works board for about 18 years, and they're a nonprofit. Their corporate headquarters is right here at Boston, so right here in Arlington. They provide uh, older workers who have low income throughout the country with jobs. They, they really help to um, get them out of their sort of level that they're at where they're not very happy and bring them out, get them back in the workforce so that they uh, get an increase in their self-esteem. And uh, it, it's just great to go out in the field and watch our people at work. So Experience Works has been at this for about 45 years. That's uh, a lot. They're number one in the country. They've got the infrastructure all set up in 30 states in Puerto Rico. Uh, they, uh, you know, really know how to do this. As a matter of fact, now they're branching off to try to set up uh, a program with the veterans uh, and do the same thing that they're good at doing. By the way, it used to be called Green Thumb way back at the start in 1962, I think it was. Uh, but now uh, we realize that there's a lot of veterans homeless and that they, or they're about to be homeless and we want to take them and bring them up. So give them a little bit of training, uh, get them a job and uh, you know, try to take care of those people. Uh, right now there's a lot of programs, but none of them are customized like this. And so we're working to try to be a partner with Veterans Administration on it. And I was in uh, Tammy Duckworth's office, who's Assistant Secretary for Shinseki, the VA chief, uh, about a month ago for an hour and a half talking about this program. She's pretty excited about it. I think what VA has realized is that they're spread so thin that they can't do everything. And so when they look at something like us, that have done this for a long time, we can superimpose helping veterans right on top of this because everything's there in place. So we're hoping that that will take off. I know Tammy Duckworth, because uh, you've, you've probably known about her missing both legs, and uh, I knew her from the Wounded Warriors program at Walter Reed. Wow. And, so. and tell me what, uh, I just saw the two minute sign go up. Yeah. Tell me more about, you brought a story along. Oh, yeah. Let's read okay, that I, story. I'll tell you, I could just, it would probably fill this whole studio of uh, stories where people there felt like their lives were saved because of uh, being a participant experience. Where John, Nick Lau, do it real quick, faced multiple barriers to employment, homeless, suffered from a nervous condition, dyslexic, Afraid to learn how to drive. Experience Works got him a job as a maintenance position at Walmart. He was given a job 40 hours a week for $8.20 an hour. Because he couldn't drive, Experience Works gave him a bicycle. And now, you know, he's with his family and, and doing pretty good. One, one point, I know we don't have a lot of time, I have to bring out, having been in the military, the government kind of side with the corporate world and academia, the experience works people in the field, the staff and everybody that does this are the most wonderful people I've ever met. They really care about people and that's probably why I've been on the board this long is we, we just really care to help out the older workers that are low income. And you are one of the most wonderful people I've met. I've got to shake well. your hand one more time. <laughs> and oh, that's right. Let me, oh. let me see the, yeah, here you go. that's, uh, that's yeah, what that's, you that's wrote. That's the book. Uh, it's in your eyes. We got to make a plug somewhere, and they can get it on Amazon.com. And that's about it. 
Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Chuck. Wonderful Thank you, Pia. Stuff. Chucky boy. <laughs> Chucky Chucky boy. boy. Glad to be here. Chucky boy. And now <laughs> let's give it back to Craigie boy. Craig, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Pia and Dr. Charles Toftoy, Chuck, and a uh, little information there and some good information about uh, improving the quality of life for uh, older Americans. Mm -hmm. Something to uh, put my heads up. That's good. Okay. That's the wrap. Yes. We're done with this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. It went so fast. Anything to add? It went so fast. We're having so much fun. Anything to well, add? Yes. Just make sure you go to youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News. That's all one word. Absolutely. Like it or not, there we are on YouTube. And uh, we'll be here next week. You'll be there. And we'll uh, do it all for you again for another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Have a safe week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>